Hello fellow PC enthusiasts and welcome to another segment of EK's How To Series. This is Matiz reporting from the EK HQ and I'm about to show you how to properly prepare your new liquid cooling loop before using it for the first time, if you're new to all things water cooling. And if you do have water cooling experience, don't close the video just yet, it could be a great way to re-examine if you're doing everything right. In case you're only interested in specific steps of the loop preparation, you can click on the desired timestamps in the description below. Please keep in mind that this process is not to be rushed and it takes about two days to complete. Now let's start with these great EK solutions that are perfect for the occasion. What we have here are EK Cryofuel loop cleaner and super flush concentrates. Safe and reliable loop cleaning and flushing solutions. This kit has been developed to clean your used custom water cooling loops or prepare new ones, leaving them free of impurities and manufacturing residue. But before you use them, they need to be diluted with distilled water. But before we continue, imagine a world in which everyone watching this video is subscribed to this channel. It's beautiful. EK Cryofuel Loop Cleaner comes as a concentrate in a 250ml bottle and should be mixed with 1250ml of distilled water before use. That would be a 1 against 5 ratio. To use this whole bottle, we're gonna create a liter and a half of the cleaning solution. Now let's get to it. Now let's add some distilled water. And there we go! This would be a proper loop cleaning mixture. This diluted solution should then be poured into an empty or drained water cooling system, leaving it to circulate between 2 and 24 hours. Just remember, the loop cleaner does not act as a corrosion inhibitor or biocide for coolants, and it shouldn't be left in the system for longer than 24 hours. But before we fill our loop with the loop cleaner, we must not forget the most important step. Leak testing the loop. As you can see here, our loop is leak-free and ready to be filled with the prepared loop cleaning mixture. Ok, now the loop is almost filled, let's keep it running for about 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll top it off. Be right back. Ok, now that the 15 minutes have passed, you can see that the level has dropped, so we need to top it off. Now that the loop is filled, we will let the pump circulate the mixture for 8 hours. In the meantime, don't do anything demanding on your PC to avoid an increase in temperatures. That means don't game for 8 hours. You can do it. The cleaning procedure shouldn't be done more than twice. If you do it twice, the first mixture should circulate for 2 hours and the second for up to 24 hours. And we're back. In our case, the pump was running for 8 hours. And yes, the cleaning fluid can change color and sometimes even be a bit blue or green. Don't be surprised if it happens. It's completely normal. Now let's drain the loop and prepare it for the super flush mix. The 
Let me first explain what the Super Flush is. It is a special solution created for flushing out manufacturing residue, impurities and leftover chemicals. It can be used either as a standalone solution or right after the Eco Cryofuel Loop Cleaner. After using the Loop Cleaner, Super Flush is used to pick up and rinse any residue chemicals left from the cleaner itself. This concentrate is to be mixed with approximately 2750 ml of distilled water or 1 to 11 ratio. Just like the loop cleaner, it doesn't act as a corrosive inhibitor or biocide for coolants. And just like the loop cleaner, it is compatible with all EK soft and hard tubing. We will now dilute the super flush with distilled water inside three 1 liter bottles to get a 3 liter mixture. Let's fill the loop once again, this time with the super flush mixture. And that is it. We will now leave it to circulate the system for 15 minutes or so. If the liquid starts to foam too much, it is necessary that you reduce the pump speed. Be back in 15. When those 15 minutes are up, you simply drain the loop. And once the system is drained, fill it with the second round of super flush mixture and let it circulate the system for 24 hours. Now that the loop is filled up for the second time, we'll leave it running for 24 hours, so be right back. It's been 24 hours since we started the pump and now we can drain the super flush mixture from the system, then fill it with the desired EK cryofuel coolant. Alright boys, let's fill her up! And this is the moment we've been waiting for. Our system is ready for use. Enjoy your build and do not forget to change the coolant at least once a year. Stay clean, stay cool and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel if you find our content helpful or interesting. Until next time, stay cool.